Shaban. Now, payments in the county of Nairobi have gone cashless as the county government looks to seal revenue leakages and boost its own source revenue collections. A study released jointly by the Commission on Revenue Allocation and the World Bank in 2022 argued that Nairobi was missing its potential own source revenue by as much as 4 billion shillings. Let's now look into the latest around the county's digitized payments. A fortnight after the Treasury Cabinet Secretary gazetted full transition to cashless payments by the national government and gazetted e-citizen as the only digital payments channel for use by state agencies, the county of Nairobi is following suit as the county seeks to enhance its own source of revenue potential. In the financial year ended June 2022, the county of Nairobi realized 9.23 billion shillings worth of own source revenue collection, registering just 47% of the targeted amount of 19.6 billion shillings. The county now seeks to address this revenue shortfall through transitioning into cashless payments fully. We are grateful that uh, the government has settled. We now have our CECs in place. We have our chief officers in place. And we have a budget that has passed. Among the payments which will now be made on cashless basis are parking, land rates, business licensing, health services, cess and outdoor advertising. All eyes will now be on pockets of unrealized revenue and how the cashless payment helps address this. The Commission of Revenue Allocation and World Bank study stated that Nairobi's biggest port of foregone revenue is unrealized property taxes and rates which is estimated to 45 billion shillings in uncollected revenue annually. This is followed by business and legal licensing which accounts for 6.2 billion shillings in uncollected revenue annually after which comes parking and advertisement which foregoes 2 billion shillings annually. The county is also estimated to forego 673 million shillings annually in building permits. The switch to digital payments comes on the back of the Nairobi County Government and the Capital Markets Authority agreeing to form a committee to guide issuance of a municipal green bond. CMA has committed to explore change of policy to enable counties to borrow for development projects above current limit of 20% of audited annual revenues. And in other news,